looking at this object called text. So text, as you will remember from last time, is this, this object that allows us to create um, and manipulate and draw from TXT files or text files. And this is a much, much better way of having access to a bunch of words at one time than what I had demonstrated first just to show the functionality of this object here, which is the text edit object. So to show you how the text edit object can take in data and can show and display different words, we worked with something that we were familiar with, this idea of messages, and we say if we would like to, the text edit to display the word pumpkin, we can say, hey, text edit, here's a message that says append, so add on to the end, whatever you already have, the word pumpkin. And we can click on it, and then we get a lot of pumpkins. Um, then I have this set up with this select object and a random um, integer generator where I can then ask for randomly one of these four words. So this is great except for the fact that if I wanted more than four words, this is going to get really clunky really fast. And so a better option is for us to have a text file that we can work with. So as you know, I can double click on this text file and it will bring up whatever I have currently saved in my text file. So how did I get to this point? Well, if I make a, whoops, a brand new text object, so just T-E-X-T, -E and it's not named anything, it's blank, and I double click on it, I get a blank file. So if you're not familiar with editing or creating text files in any other program, you could certainly just use this object to actually save a TXT file. So I could take a whole list of words, <coughs> And I've got a list here somewhere. How about some Halloween words? I could paste them in, and then I could say Command S to save, and then I can just save this TXT file. So I might call this something like Halloween words. And I want to make sure that I save it in the exact same directory, the same folder, where my max patch is currently saved. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Save. And then I can close this. And when I double click to open it back up, as long as my max patch is, has not been closed, <coughs> this text file has a memory. It remembers, OK, we just did this this text. But if I go and close my max patch and open it back up again, it's not going to remember that the last time I had the max patch open, I wanted this Halloween words text file. However, I can tell it to remember. And I can do that by whoops, making a new text object and naming it with the same name as the text file that I want it to be. So if I say text Halloween words, that's what I named it, right? And then if I go and I double click on this file, on this object, magically, all my words are there. Even though I didn't read that file in, I didn't paste it in there. It's actually not the same as this guy. I'm going to double click on this guy now. You know, it looks exactly the same to you. Um, but this, just by saying, hey, text object, and then by giving its argument Halloween words, that's the name of the file that I just saved, the txt file. I don't even need the .txt on here. The only thing I need for this to actually happen is to make sure that that txt file is saved in the same folder as my max patch, and I'm golden, I'm good. I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna close it, and open that back up and just show you 
that when I double click on this TX, on this text Halloween words, I get my Halloween words. But if I double click on this text object, it's now blank. So Max didn't remember this one, but it does remember this yeah. for right now. Um, one caveat to this is I have named my text file with no spaces, no punctuation, no capital letters, definitely no commas, and you need to do the same. You don't want to run the risk of having any communication issues between Max and between your directory and your computer. And so you want to make sure that all your file names are just lowercase letters and numbers, no spaces, no any special characters, nothing like that. Um, because even if your Mac will allow you to do it, Max gets confused with some of those things. So what's kind of cool about this is this allows you to have multiple TXT files that you can at any time pull into any patch that you want that's saved in this directory. So let's see. For example, I've got, um, I think I've got one called fall words. Yes. And if I just want to pull that into my into my patch, I just make a new text object and say fall words and it pulls it in. 